The search for the voice actor and likeness of Jason in Grand Theft Auto 6 has just made a huge discovery. We'll be talking about what that is, who it is, and a whole lot more in this video today. So as things currently stand, we have a pretty clear idea of who is playing Lucia in GTA 6. That is Manny L. Perez. We've talked about her plenty in previous videos, and it's a little bit easier to identify who's playing Lucia. We see more screen time of her. She says more vocal lines, so you have easier voice comparisons. Jason does not have as much screen time and literally only says one word, trust, but the GTA 6 community seems to have dialed in on one new person that is a huge discovery. And that person in question is Gregory Connors. And the reason that fans are so certain he's playing Jason in GTA 6 is because what was found on his resume page. And if we actually look at it right here, you can see it for voiceover, it says TBD, 2025 release for the role he's playing it is the lead role and it is from rockstar games so we obviously don't have to be a genius to know what that is that's grand theft auto 6 and according to his description he is going to be playing the lead character so we know the lead character is jason unless rockstar decides to change the name of whoever jason is and we obviously know that tbd 2025 is grand theft auto 6 so that was a huge red flag and once everyone saw that they were like okay Yes, it matches with his resume page, but does Gregory Connors fit the bill? And does his physical description match Jason's physical description enough? And does his voice match Jason's voice enough? And keep in mind, it doesn't have to be 100% like to like. Yes, Rockstar Games make the voice actors and the motion capture artists similar and sound similar to their characters, but it doesn't necessarily have to 100% be the same. Like, Roger Clark's voice in real life is slightly different from Arthur Morgan's voice in Red Dead Redemption 2. And even though Jason has only officially said one word, and that is trust, there is a lot of leaked footage of GTA 6 where you can clearly hear Jason's voice. And so unfortunately, I won't be able to play any of that in this video today, but if you do have access to the GTA 6 leaked footage or you've seen some of the videos of Jason speaking, you'll know that Gregory Connor's voice sounds awfully similar to the voice of Jason, and at least from the looks, and again, ignore things like hair and beard, all that is cosmetic and very easy to change, but like the uh, physical complexion of how they're built and the facial structure and the way the nose looks, that's gonna reflect onto Jason, and they are almost identical. But here's where things start to get even spicier. So as the internet discovered that Gregory Connors was our man here, he actually removed that post from his resume. And so now if you were to go to his resume page, it doesn't say anything about voice acting or motion capture. It just talks about what he's done on Broadway and in workshops, education, physical characteristics, measurements, etc. That has been completely removed. So that is huge. And it is very likely, obviously, that this was not permitted by Rockstar. And they probably called him up or his agent up and said, hey, you guys have to take that down because obviously that would be breaking an NDA or a non-disclosure agreement. Something that Rockstar Games is going to make everyone sign, especially the person playing the main character of Jason in GTA 6. But things get even wilder because as things currently stand, not only did Gregory and his team actually remove the Rockstar Games listing for GTA 6, but now if you try to go to his resume page, it simply says the page you have attempted to view is private. So they have privatized the entire thing and now no one can see it. And honestly, to me, this screams damage control. I don't think Gregory Connors was personally responsible for putting that up there. I feel like he would know better and understand an NDA means he couldn't disclose that. But potentially who was ever on his team who put that out there, this is a huge screw up. And I think Rockstar Games is telling him, hey, you've got to delete this right now. So it really does look like we might have our man here. I'm not saying it's 100% confirmed, but Gregory Connors really does fit all the roles here and all the characteristics you're looking for. Now, just to play devil's advocate a little bit here, there is a reason to be skeptical, and one of that is the actual resume itself and the fact that this individual put lead as the role they were playing. As far as I'm concerned, 
I don't think anyone that has played a lead character, whether it be Michael DeSanta's Ned Luke or whether it be Arthur Morgan's Roger Clark, I don't think they've ever put that in their actor's resume page. In fact, I'd assume that the protagonist out of everyone working on the project are by far and away the most heavily briefed in terms of what they can and cannot do in terms of a resume page, social media, etc. And number two, we've also seen plenty of people in the past also put the lead role for, I would assume, non-protagonists in GTA 6. So who knows how Rockstar is labeling their roles internally. They might all be considered lead roles if they have some sort of screen time on there. So that's why I'm just playing a little bit of devil's advocate here because you just simply don't know what's going on at Rockstar behind closed doors. And what makes this even more wild is the GTA community actually found out about this guy in December last year, right after the trailer came out. But what's interesting is in December of 2023, Gregory Connors didn't actually have lead in his resume page. So that has since been updated, but of course, after the events of the last few days, has now been completely removed. So the GTA 6 community was honing in on this guy just days after the first official trailer ended up coming out. So really now, the only other thing we need is for Rockstar to give us more details on Jason, and maybe we'll see that in the second trailer or trailers that focus on our two main characters, Jason and Lucia. But I would argue that this is the strongest candidate for sure to play our main man Jason in GTA 6. And sort of the icing on the cake here is that he is the perfect Rockstar Games actor to play Jason. And I mean this as respectfully as I can. He's not a massive household name that every single person knows. And that's exactly what Rockstar is looking for. Remember, we talked about in a previous video how they don't want you to know who the actor is so that when you play the game, you aren't saying, hey, that's cool. I'm playing as Clint Eastwood, who's Arthur Morgan. They want you to just play as Arthur Morgan. And in this case, they just want you to play as Jason. And we know that if Gregory Connors is involved in some way, shape, or form, it's going to be for GTA 6. I've seen people talking about, well, maybe this could be for a 2025 Grand Theft Auto Online DLC or something like that. It is way too early to do the voice acting and motion capture for something like that. That would not be done this early on. It has to be for the next Grand Theft Auto game. So now I want to pass the question off to you guys. Do you think Gregory Connors is our man? And do you think he is going to be the voice and likeness of Jason in GTA 6? Let me know what you think in those comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you guys did go to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. You want to stay up to date on all the GTA 6 videos that I'll be doing here on my channel and be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work and if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.